So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll tell you about Word Stacker by Ingenium Games. A take that word game where you score points for manipulating the words. And the number of words you have each game will depend on the number of players. However, all the words will start off as four letter words and you'll start with a hand of six letters and three special cards. And these special cards can be one of two things, either scoring cards or evil sabotage cards, which is where the take that element of this game really kicks in. You can do things like cause someone to miss their go, steal a card off another player, swap your cards, or even reverse the order of play. With your scoring cards, the way these cards will score will depend on the card. Either you could replace a word that's already there, completely removing it, and placing a new word of four letters from your hand, or it might be a stack card, where you'll take a letter from your hand and you'll stack it over something that's already there. So I can put this C and get clay. Or maybe I'll play a stretch card, which means I need to add cards to one of the words in order to make it a new word. So I could add CH to that and have thatch. Or you could have a mix-up where you don't even need to use any of the cards. From your hand, you simply mix up the letters that are there to make a new word. Then at the end of your turn, you'll draw your hand back up to nine cards. But this time, you're not restricted to that 3-6 split. You can decide if you want to draw special cards or letter cards. And first person to 100 wins the game, and the game immediately ends. So what do I think of this game? Well, let's first start with the artwork and components. So with the artwork, obviously, there really isn't much artwork to go by, but there is graphic design. So with the graphic design, it's actually quite confusing that you have letters that are two ways round, because what this can mean is it can be confusing for people sat on different if you're not all looking at the cards from the same way it can be quite confusing because the letters are the right way round but they're in reverse so if a word could read differently in reverse to what it reads going forward that's a bit of a shame i think they should have kept it the same way round always on the cards and they're not high quality card at that so what about the game itself what do i think of it well i've played this several times and every time I end up with the same feedback from people and that is not a good thing because it's not particularly positive feedback so I haven't enjoyed this game most people I've played it with have not enjoyed it and there are a few reasons for this firstly the level of randomness in the game can be incredibly frustrating you see everything is done based on the draw of the cards so if someone sat there and they draw 30 point cards all the time and each turn they go 30 points 30 points 30 points and you're sat there with a hand of 10 point cards and even then you discard your hand and you get 10 point cards again it's very hard for you to actually compete in what is essentially a race and that's also another problem because it means that the first player has a built-in advantage you're trying to be the first to reach a mark if you go first, you're going to have more chances to do that. And so that's another fault, as well as the randomness of getting those points cards in order to make it difficult to actually score. On top of that, you then have the randomness of the letter cards as well as the score cards. So you might go, ah, oh, I've got the perfect letter. If I could do this, I could score. But I don't have the scorecard to go with it. Or you have the scorecard, but you won't have the letters. And it is quite possible in this game to not be able to go. In fact, one of the options for your action on a turn is simply discard your entire hand and draw a new hand. But that's your turn. And it's very possible to do that and then have to do it again. I think in the five or six games that I've played, that's happened in over half the games. There's been four games where that's happened. One game, it happened to two different people. So yeah, this 
that's a really serious problem. It's a term where you're literally doing nothing and then you don't necessarily even actually gain much of a benefit from doing nothing and other people just steamroll ahead. Now, another thing that has been mentioned by everyone is downtime. And a big part of that is you can't actually plan your turn on other people's goes. And it doesn't really matter what anyone else is doing except for the person directly before you because so much changes with the nature of the cards and the nature of what they're doing to the board everything changes so if you think someone gets a mega mix-up card what this means is they change literally every word in this board every single word changes how can you plan for that how can you then know what you're going to do on your turn until it comes to you that is a problem with this. Don't get me wrong, I think that this is a okay game, but it has problems. Another thing is take that. Some people will love take that in games, and I don't mind a bit of take that when it's light-hearted, it benefits the game. A lot of the time with these take that cards, you're just using them to get them out of your hand. You don't actually feel like it's gonna benefit you or help you win the game, it's just, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make you miss a go because otherwise it's taking up space in my hand. It doesn't actually help me win at all, it doesn't give me stuff, it doesn't like take cards from you and give them to me even. I think there definitely will be a market for this game, I think it will be more mainstream market, less hobby game market, probably more family, younger children who will not mind the take that so much, will just find it fun to laugh and who will not find it so easy to be able to do the mix-ups for example as well I think maybe there's a good excuse to have a time limit on those um, yeah overall not a game for me but I'm sure there might be people out there who would like it that's Word Stacker by Ingenium Games do you hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and bye for now